Welcome back to Case Closed, Anime Review, episode number 220. We're here reviewing the newest episode released just Saturday, this past Saturday, which is episode number 1007. I was set up. Yeah, this guy wasn't set up. The whole title was a big fat lie. Yeah, it is. It is by, uh, if you keep wondering, I'm just moving my lampshade around. There we go. That should hopefully keep place there. Yes. Episode starts off with the guy in the episode where he kills a guy. By the way, his name is Encaro Jero. I'm like, man, the name sounds so familiar. It sounds like the name itself reminds me name of... Wait, I remember now. The name itself reminds me of the real name of Kamiya Stronger. Yes. Seriously. I'm like... What? Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. It's like they they, they, they this guy at the camera are stronger. He's the bad guy of the episode. So he's supposed to get by shoving us a table. Yes, a freaking table. <clears throat> and his friend Duntro comes in. Like, oh, you took uh like what happened? I just shoved him. I thought you might be conscious. Nope, he's dead. So they just bury the body. And then you have to make a fake alibi. And then that's when Moore and Conan come in. Yep, they were randomly hired to find a missing scroll. Yeah, it's really by Conan. Of uh, why the heck they were hired in the first place? Like, so the assignment's been canceled over the fact a hidden scroll was stolen from your room, from your place, and the housekeeper worked there for twenty years. She had no idea about a hidden scroll. Which, and apparently this happened before the whole death happened. Yeah, it's quite interesting, to say the least. Yes. Where it just happened to be like this. So then, of course, he confesses to Maury what exactly happened. And then him and Darren are in this, or as they find the body, which they think, which is, oh, maybe in this one, oh, it was, he was actually there. So, they, he, of course... The, the guy gets arrested for involuntary manslaughter and banning a body. And the other guy's, oh, I don't want to be charged with And he has to charge anyways. I'm like, oh yeah, I think, oh, yeah, everything is all wrapped up. But it seems a bit too weird of a coincidence, the fact these two just have to be arrested like this. Like, oh. So Conan and Moore do some investigating. Of course, Moore finds about the mysterious woman, the woman who showed up at the start of the, pretty much the death. Yeah, who was there to pick up 30 million yen that supposedly he, she swindled from him. Yeah, it turns out she, she, was, she was actually Jiro's girlfriend. Which, okay. Yeah, and there was also hints about the whole get rich scheme thing. Where supposedly the three, the three of them were involved. And of course, the other guy basically, well. Thanks to also revealing some certain facts about the guy. The fact that apparently his wife ten, died 10 years later than the series... Well, she got injured due to a break-in attempt. Yes, she injured her leg, and it looks like both legs were injured. I'm like, really? The way it looked there by the enemy seems like one leg was injured, not both. But yet, both are bandaged up. I'm like, what? I thought that was kind of weird. She got shoved over, yes. I mean, she injured one foot. Did somehow, in a few weeks, he injured the other foot? And then she slips on the stairs, and then she dies? Like, what? I've slipped on the stairs before. It's not fun, trust me. It is, well, kind of spooky, but the thing is, I didn't fall down the stairs. I managed to grab onto the railing, which was made of metal. And I, and I was perfectly fine afterwards, but damn. Like, what a railing there, and suppose this woman just fell off the stairs. And this guy, and, and basically he was downstairs. Like, he did hear it, yes. But I would have thought, though, she would have grabbed onto the railing. If she slipped, the best option when you slip on the stairs is to grab the railing. That's what it's there for. Did she just not bother to grab it? It's weird. I mean, that's what the railing is supposed to be for. You're supposed to grab, if you're like, like if you have an foot, like, you're supposed to grab it. That's what it's there for. Did she not bother freaking grab it? It's like... 
I'm like watching this episode. I'm like, <clears throat> it's like basically this woman died because of, not because of an unfortunate accident. It's because she lacked common freaking sense. Yes, like grab the freaking railing. That's what it's there for. Yeah, and apparently, like after she died, he. Put him in a photograph, and then the day the guy died. Oh, by the way, when when the housekeeper comes back, you know he, he apparently had housekeeper. Excuse me, a housekeeper. I'm thinking, really, a housekeeper. And you're thinking, how can this guy afford a housekeeper? Simple. He's the president of a company. I'm like, okay, fine. Of course he can afford it. He's the president of a multi-partner company. So, as for the Jiro guy, yeah, apparently he wanted to swindle him. And then found out his best friend and the, the swindler's girlfriend was in all this, too, this three-way scheme to swindle 30 million yen. I'm like, okay, so... What, was the opening scene not the actual death? Like, what was the point of that? And then, so, oh yeah, the guy really did kill him. By apparently whacking him in the head with a metal briefcase. I'm like, what? I'm like, this episode felt so disjointed. It felt like, though, that somebody who wrote this script, like, oh, this was a really cool idea. Let's make it as complicated as possible. Let's make the characters complete, utter morons, with the exception of the main characters. Like, I have never encountered a murder episode for the series look this sloppy. Yeah. Sloppy from a writing and a bit of an animation perspective. Yeah, it wasn't like a hiccup, per se, like, oh, like, was a glitch here? No, the fact that apparently that the animators and the writer of this episode apparently was a complete idiot when it comes to common frickin' sense. Yeah, oh, the fact, oh, maybe he buried the body. Oh, maybe he faked his death. I'm like... Did this script go through five or six rewrites when he finally released the damn episode? Oh, and by the way, the title itself saying that like, I was set up, that was a complete bogus lie. The guy wasn't set up, he clearly did kill the guy. Like, oh, maybe was he, of course he also framed the other guy for supposedly killing him. Yeah, it's built up the guy who killed the guy at the start of the episode. Yeah, he really did kill him. I'm like, what? It's not the first time this has happened, but wow, so stupid. Like, at least in the case the last time made a little bit of sense. This was complete utter stupidity. I'm like, wow. I mean, the colors look nice in the episode. The voice actor is fine, but man. I gotta say, for an episode that features a murder, this is almost just as bad as Detective Boy episodes. Half the time those episodes are good or bad, hit or miss. A lot of the time these episodes that are basically the murder ones, these are actually pretty decent, but this one is bad. Oh my gosh, it was awful. Oh, by the way, you were thinking, oh, next episode, like, oh, secret hidden cards. And these cards look very similar to how the Yugo cards are drawn in the original Yugo series. I thought that was more interesting. Yes, the TMS basically take inspiration from Yu-Gi-Oh. A studio made a show made by a completely different studio. I believe it was Studio D made the series. Excuse me. At least the episode looks interesting. This episode, wow. This was bad, to say the least. Really bad episode. Um, let's see pretty much a particular view. Next up is the comic corner, and then, well, I'm gonna finish reading the book, review that, and then move on to the rising of a shoot here, okay? Next view. Bye.